Hello friends, so today we will see how automatically we can launch and install CT instances using Sales Script and Atlas CLI. So let's see. First we will see how to start the CT instance using the Sales Script. So for that uh, we will need uh, we will need to install the AWS CLI and we need to configure that. If you haven't already that, then you can refer this link and we will have some idea. Then we need to create the script file and I will recommend to create this uh, sh file uh, in the root directory that is the wired.wrstml So let's create it Now open that file So as you can see, I already uh, pasted that code here, and I have replaced uh, my instance ID here. So you can find out the instance ID from here. And copy. You can select the instance and uh, copy the instance ID. Let's save this file. Now try to execute this file. So there are two ways to execute this file. By we can manually execute this file by uh, using the command form. Or we can schedule the point job for this. Uh, lastly, we will see how we can schedule the point job for all the scripts. So I will show you that. But now, let's go for the manual. Okay, let's verify the console. So it is in a stopping mode now. And once we execute that script, uh, that should uh, start the instance. So. Let's wait for stopping it. Stop instance. Okay, so instance has been stopped now, and we want to start this instance again using the sales script. So let's run this script. As you can see here, the status is pending now. So refresh this. So the status is in pending, and after a few seconds, it will be in going mode. So let's wait for that. Okay, so you can see now this is in running mode. Similarly, we can stop this instance using the script. So let's see that how we can stop the instance by using the script. So let's run that command and create one file again. In the same root directory, uh, we need to create this file. Now open that file. I already pasted that code here, so you need to replace your uh, instance ID here so that this instance will be stopped. So let's save this and execute that file. Let's verify some console. So you will see the instance is, is now stopping. Let's wait for Okay, so you can see that uh, instance has been stopped now. So that was regarding the starting and stopping, uh, stopping the instance using the sensor script. Uh, one more thing we can do with the sensor script, like uh, we can find out the place the public IP address of the running instances using this this script. So we need to create one SS file for that and we paste this code into there. Let's see. Let's create a file using touch command. Now open that file. So you can see I have pasted that code here and it will uh, fetch uh, the running status of the IP addresses. So it says this and let's go this file. Okay, before that we need to start our instance. And only we can paste that address. As we have mentioned that uh, script file in the you can see here is it will start scripted SS file. So it will grab the IP address from this uh, SS instance. Thank you. 
let's go. Almost it. Okay, it is in one minute now. So you can see it and come. Okay, so that's it. You can see now public addresses of the name running instances. And yeah. So lastly, uh, I would uh, like to show you how we can schedule the point job for each script. So you can see here I have scheduled a cron job for each script. So you can change the timing and uh, whatever you want. Uh, you want to run it on weekly basis or weekly basis. You can change that accordingly. You can schedule the cron job for each instance. Okay, so that was regarding the census script. We are using that for CLI. Thank you very much.